Hey everyone, welcome back to the Austin Lindsay channel. So I work in both Final Cut and Premiere Pro, and I try to keep a similar workflow between the two. So knowing which keyboard shortcuts to do the same actions in both programs is extremely helpful to me. And I thought it might be helpful to you if you use both editors. So one thing I'll mention right away is the CTI is the current time indicator or the playhead. It's a line that goes across the whole timeline and I most often call it the CTI. So sometimes I'll be working on a clip and I wanna go back and reference the original frame. Maybe I'm working on a complex edit and I wanna remind myself what's outside the timeline cut points without disturbing my timeline layout. In Final Cut, the keyboard shortcut is Shift F. This will bring up the same clip and frame at the current time indicator, then bring up and make it active in the browser, which is what Final Cut calls the project panel. In Premiere Pro, this is the F key, and this will load the clip and frame in the source monitor. To retime a clip in Final Cut Pro, you push Command R. This will bring up a green bar with a few options. You can click and drag the line icon to make the clip slower or faster. You can press the down arrow to bring up some preset options. There's a custom dialog box where you can type in your own amount. and you can bring it back to normal speed here. In Premiere Pro, this is the R key, and this will bring up the Rage Stretch tool, and when you move your mouse to the end of the clip, this will allow you to make the clip faster or slower. If there's a clip next to the one you want to retime, you'll need to drag it out of the way first since Premiere doesn't use the magnetic timeline. I use the Ripple Edit tool a lot when I want to set the duration of a clip and then keep that clip constant but I may want to adjust what portion of the clip is shown at the cut or you know, the in or out points. The ripple tool allows me to drag the viewable section of the clip. In Premiere, this shortcut is the Y key. In Final Cut Pro, it's the T key. A handy feature of the ripple tool in Final Cut Pro is you can still reveal or hide more of the clip by placing the cursor at the edges of the clip. If you want to turn a clip's volume up or down without having to tediously use the volume bar, in Final Cut, you press Control and the plus or minus keys. This will move your volume in one decibel increments up or down. In Premiere Pro, it's the right and left bracket keys, and this will also move up and down in one decibel increments. To make cuts in Final Cut Pro, you can press the B key as normal to bring up the blade tool and then you click the mouse button. Final Cut also has a feature on their tools where you can momentarily use the tool by pressing and holding the shortcut. If you wanna make a cut where you've stopped your CTI without having to move the mouse, you can just use Command B and that'll make a cut. If you have multiple layers and you'd like to make a cut, you can press Command Shift B to cut all the layers. In Premiere, to bring up the blade tool, the shortcut is C. You can move your mouse to the spot where you wanna cut press the mouse button, and you make a cut. Premiere doesn't have the momentary tool option. To make a cut where the CTI is without moving your mouse, you push Command K, and to cut multiple layers, you push Command Shift K. Sometimes I need to hide a clip while editing, and let's say I have a stacked set of clips, maybe one on top of the other, and I wanna watch through and decide if the top clip or the bottom clip will work best for the video. In Final Cut Pro, I simply push the V key and that'll deactivate and then reactivate the clip. In Premiere Pro, I can press Command Shift E and that'll deactivate or reactivate the clip. If you have effects and you wanna paste them from one clip to another, in Final Cut Pro, you select the clip with the effects, press Command C, then you select the clip that you want to paste to, and if you wanna simply just paste everything, you can press Command Option V. If you wanna choose which effects get pasted, you press Command Shift V, and that'll bring up a dialog box where you can make your selections. If you decide you don't want effects on a clip, you can use Command Option X to just remove all the effects, or Command Shift X, that'll bring up the same dialog box, and you can choose which ones you'd like to remove. Premiere uses the term attributes rather than effects, but the steps are very similar. Select the clip with the attributes you want, push Command-C to copy, select the clip you want to copy to, 
then press Command Option V. Premiere doesn't have a straight up copy function that I know of, so you can just hit enter if you know you want all the attributes pasted. Or you can use the dialog box to choose which attributes you want pasted. If you want to remove the attributes in Premiere, you'll need to go to the edit menu and choose remove attributes. The same dialog box will pop up and you can hit enter to remove all of them or you can select certain ones. If you want to add a default transition, in my case in both editors, it's cross dissolve. In Final Cut, you push Command T. It'll create the transition and add an icon over your cut point over the two clips. Then you can move your cursor to the edges of the gray area and shorten or lengthen the transition. In Final Cut, you can also reveal or hide more of the clip by clicking and dragging on the horizontal lines on the top section of the clip. You'll know you're in the right spot when the cursor icon shows a little film roll next to it. In Premiere Pro, you can use Command D and then you can go in and change the duration of the transition by hovering your mouse over the ends of the transition icon. If you go to make a transition in either program and you get a notification that you can't make the transition or there's not enough frames, that means both clips are at their very limit and you don't have any footage to overlap. In this case, you wanna hide some of your incoming or outgoing clip so the transition has footage to blend together. This one is my most favorite shortcut. If I'm going through and I wanna quickly cut footage together, instead of dragging the in point of a clip or the out point to the mouse, I'll play through using the spacebar or JKL keys and then stop when I wanna make my edit. To get rid of the end of the clip, I push the option right bracket key in Final Cut Pro. Premiere, it's the W key. That brings the cut point and everything after that up to my CTI. If I wanna get rid of everything before the clip, I use the option left bracket key in, in Final Cut and Premiere, it's the Q key. And this saves me a lot of time moving and aligning my mouse to the edge of the clip, then clicking and dragging, and it's a quicker workflow for me. I hope these tips have been helpful. Consider sharing this video with someone who may be interested in this type of content. If you do have any questions, leave them in the comments field. I'll do my best to answer them. And thanks everyone for watching.